sharing time ulit tayo. This is about God will provide. Will God really provide? So, so many things happen in our lives. Especially, maraming mga problema sa financial. Lalo na ngayon sa Pilipinas. Dito rin sa Amerika, nagkakaroon din kami ng mga problema. But, I always try to think that in a every situation, meron, meron dahilan bakit nangyayari. So, kapag dumadating ang mga problema pang pinansyal, especially kung talagang walang-wala na tayo, walang-wala talaga tayo malalapitan, sino ang dapat nating lapitan? Siyempre, ang una sa lahat ay ang Panginoon. So, our topic is about God will provide. And my God will supply every need of yours. So, will God really provide? If so, what will He provide? Does His provision include both our spiritual and physical needs? What does the Bible say? There is a 17 Bible verses that I am going to share with you guys. And this is in Philippians 4.19. It says here, And my God will supply every need of your according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And in, by, and in verse... Uh, in book of Matthew 6, 31 to 32, it says there, Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and our Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. And there's another verse here in Genesis 3, 21. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Okay? So, alam niyo yung story ni Adam at saka ni Eve, di ba? And then in Luke 12, 24, Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor burn. And yet, God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? So, yung birds, di ba, wala naman silang sariling tahanan, wala rin silang sariling pagkain, pero napoprovide ng Panginoon yung mga pagkain ng mga ibon, di ba? At meron din silang natitirhan. So, yun ay yung mga sample lamang na God will provide. In Matthew 7:11, If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him. O di ba kapag tayo uh, uh, humihingi ng uh, bagay sa ating Panginoon, di ba binibigay naman agad talaga ng Panginoon sa atin? At isa pa, kailangan lang na, natin talaga na meron tayong pananalig sa Diyos. And in Psalms 1, 45, 15, verse 16, it says here, The eyes of all book the eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. And in James 4, 1, 2, What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have. So you murder, you covet and cannot obtain. So you la you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not you do not ask. Okay? So kailangan lang talaga natin mag-ask sa Panginoon. And then in Psalms 34 verse 10, The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord act no good thing. And in James 5 14, Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Ayan, effective po talaga yan kapag may mga sakit sa inyo, lalo na yung sa pamilya ninyo, ipanalangin ninyo yan, tawagin ninyo yung mga elders sa church, at talaga pong mabilis gumaling. At ipoprovide talaga ng Panginoon kung ano man ang mga kailangan pa. Para kasi sa akin, sa aking uh, mga nishishare sa inyo, ito po ay mga Bible verses at ito po ay para doon sa mga uh, naniniwala na ang, ang Diyos talaga ang nagpoprovide. Kasi marami tayong mga problema minsan, nakakalimutan na natin na tayo ay may Diyos. Lagi ang takbo natin ay uh, takbo agad tayo sa tao, ba Minsan, ang mga tao ay ginagamit din ng Diyos na instrumento, pero dapat mag-sik uh, muna tayo sa Panginoon. And then in Matthew 11, 29-30, 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There's another verse, 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficient in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. And in Matthew 6, 25, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not life for more than food and the body more than clothing. Okay, magandang verse din po yun. And in Romans 6, 6, 23, this is about the sins. For the way is of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And in 2 Timothy 3.16, all scriptures is uh, breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So many verses in the Bible, John 5.24, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life, he does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. And in Psalms uh, 103, verse 1 to 22, so it's too many verses here. And especially in Jeremiah 29, 11. So I will read first the Psalms 103, verse 1 to 22. So you can read that in the Bible. I will, I will just read one verse. Of David, bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the Pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that you youth is renewed like the eagles. And then in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil, for give you a future and hope. Okay, so that's for all guys. I will just uh, uh, end this topic uh, for now. And, 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 and I hope na maintindihan niyo po yung mga uh, she shares ko sa inyo that uh, in, in the Bible, Bible verses, all of that is about uh, God will provide, that God is always provide us kung ano man ang mga kailangan natin and then of course, kailangan din natin syempre ng may gawa, hindi lang puro panalangin syempre, kailangan magtrabaho rin tayo, di ba? So, kailangan may gawa tayo, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon, at pagsikapan din natin makatulong sa kapwa natin. At kahit tayo ay nagigipit, sikapin pa rin natin makatulong sa kapwa natin, especially sa mga mahal natin sa buhay, na kahit na wala tayong, walang wala na talaga tayo, pero may maibigay pa rin tayo kasi alam natin na God will provide. Okay po, uh, okay mga kababayan ko dyan, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, huwag ninyong kalimutang mag-like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sana po ay supportahan ninyo pa ang aking vlog. Bye-bye. God bless us all.